Hi, I want to talk a little bit about the method of cobwebbing. Cobwebbing is this graphical method that we can use to solve recursion relations as we move forward in time. And uh, these recursion relations are also called difference equations. And so there's a couple of steps that we go through to do this, and they're shown just up here. And the first thing we do is we plot xt is equal to f of xt, and xt plus 1 is equal to xt on the same axes. So for example here, this line shows xt plus 1 is f of xt, it's a quadratic function, and then xt plus 1 is equal to xt, it's a 45 degree line. The horizontal axis is xt, and the vertical axis is xt plus 1. The other graphs are similar. And then uh, what we do is uh, start at t equals 0, and we take some point, which we call x0 on the horizontal axis, and then we move up to the function, and then we calculate x1. So this gives us a single step for the difference equation. But we want another step, so we're going to reflect off the 45 degree line. And if we come down, this will give us x1. And then uh, we go up from x1 to get f of x1, which is x2. Reflecting off the 45 degree line again, we're going to have x2. And we keep doing this process, and so if we go back up here, we'll get x3 is right here, and then we reflect off the 45 degree line, and this is x3 right here. Going back up, uh, we uh, then uh, compute f of x3, which is x4, and so on and so forth. And so if we continue this process, we're moving in closer and closer to where the function line crosses the xt plus 1 is equal to xt line. The location where these uh, two curves meet is the equilibrium. So at the equilibrium point, we have xt plus 1 is equal to xt, and xt plus 1 is equal to f of xt. And if we put these together, then we see that xt is equal to f of xt, which is a definition for an equilibrium. So let's try cobwebbing these other functions. You notice this function looks a little different. It starts off below the 45 degree line, and then it goes above. And so we know right away this is going to be our equilibrium point, and we'll call that x hat. If we start to the left of the equilibrium point, we go to f, and then we reflect off the 45 degree line, and then we go back, and we continue like this. So we have x0, x1, x2. If we start to the right-hand side of the equilibrium point, I'll call this x0 prime, and we go up to the function, and we have x1 prime, and so on. Okay. So if we just look at the two graphs that we've cobwebbed, in one case, when we start far away from the equilibrium point, which I'll just mark in here as x hat, we start moving towards it. And so that says that this equilibrium point is asymptotically stable, usually just represented with a single s for stable. In this case here, we start close to the equilibrium point, but then we move away regardless of what side we start on. And so this equilibrium point is unstable. Okay, let's try a couple more. 
So this uh, function now starts above the 45 degree line and then it goes below the 45 degree line. And so if we start on the left hand side here with x0, then we see we're going to move towards the equilibrium point x hat. And if we start on the right hand side, say with x0 prime, we're going to be moving towards. And so this is stable. This function here is quite a steep function and it drops off. And so let's try starting on the left hand side of the equilibrium point, x hat. So we'll start here and then we'll cobweb out. Okay, so now we have something that really looks like a spider web as we move out. Okay, so we have our x0 is to the left of the x hat, and then our x1 is right here. Okay, and then our x2 is a little further out. Okay, and then we move over to x3 here. Okay, and then x4 is over here. And you can see there's a pattern. We're jumping from to either side of the equilibrium point and we're moving farther and farther away as we jump. And so this is a population which is uh, oscillating up and down and moving away from the equilibrium point, x hat. So we say that's unstable. So cobwebbing can give us a lot of insight. It's a graphical method. And so all we need to do is have a piece of paper, know how to graph the function, and then use the rules. And to recap, you need to plot your function f of x t and the 45 degree line on the same axes. And those axes are x t on the horizontal, x t plus one on the vertical. The key thing here is to choose an x zero value on the horizontal axis, and you start the cobwebbing process by going up to f of x0, and then you continue from there. You reflect off the diagonal to allow you to uh, update your time step. So you can see there's lots of really interesting behaviors that can happen. You can uh, move towards an equilibrium point, uh, you can move away from an equilibrium point, you can oscillate, and all of these can be understood using the cobwebbing approach. So it can be a lot of fun.